In this video, I'm going to help you get started in Dubsado. It's such a fun system, so let's dive in here. Hi, I'm Lainey. I'm a wedding invitation designer. I'm also a certified Dubsado specialist, so I love to teach people how to use this awesome system that I use every day with my wedding invitation clients. If you're new here, it might seem overwhelming, and one of the best pieces of advice that I saw from no side of themselves. It's just start somewhere. It will all kind of connect back in a circle. And I kind of agree with that, but here's a few things to really get you started. So if you're still on your free trial, wonderful. Um, but I would love if you would use my code or my link. If you haven't signed up yet, uh, my code is designed by Lainey and my link will get you 30% off because I am a certified specialist. So check that out in the description of this video and let's get started getting set up. Now, the first thing I think you should do is go into your settings and get these things set up. So your branding, you can upload your logo, you can have um, a nice color here. There's not a ton you can do, but it's nice to have that set up already. Then I think you should set up your receive money. <laughs> So Dubsado can connect to Stripe, Square, PayPal. Um, there's an ACH option as well. And so when you're receiving your money, you should go ahead and set that up. When you go through and set this up, uh, you'll see the options for receiving money, which is generally going to be through Stripe, Square, or PayPal. So generally you can use Dubsado anywhere as long as you can connect to one of these payment processors. So you'll go ahead and connect to one of these. Um, I use Stripe. I don't think there's any real reason. I would not use PayPal if you're new to this just because PayPal is notorious for siding with clients, not siding with businesses. So I don't recommend it, but Stripe and Square are pretty equivalent as far as I'm concerned. Third in here, you'll want to set up your email. If you use Google or Microsoft, it's pretty easy. Otherwise you can use anything here and you're just gonna need to do a few things to make sure your emails are coming into Dubsado and also when someone replies or something, they're coming to your inbox directly so you don't miss anything. Uh, so those are the main things you wanna set up here. There are some integrations. If you're planning on using these, go ahead and set them up. But in general, I would say branding, receive money, and emailing are the main things that you're gonna to need to do at the beginning. Now, the next step in Dubsado, I'm gonna have you fill out your lead capture. This is so that you can get clients into your brand. You're gonna to go to templates, forms, and lead captures. And basically this is like a contact form that you can either send to a client or embed on your website. Here's what mine looks like, and this is through Dubsado, but you kinda of wanna notice because it's embedded so well on my website. And when someone fills this out, they're automatically gonna come into Dubsado with all of this information in one place for me. So I have a whole nother video on that if you wanna check it, check it out exactly, but go ahead and fill this out. Um, include any questions that you need for completing the job or contacting them back about the job, and then you can click share, and this will give you the code to embed it on your website. So this is the first way that you're gonna get clients into Dubsado in the first place, and then when you go into your project settings in the leads folder, you will have anyone who's filled out that lead capture form already in here. All right, now my next step is basically to just get started. And the way that you figure this out is not in Dubsado at all, but is by mapping your process flow. I have another video on this and I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can download this DIY form. You can also, of course, draw it out yourself. It's not too difficult to figure out. Um, it's gonna be messy at first, but then it will become clean. This is a diagram of everything that happens in your business from when a client first contacts you until your final contact with them after the project. So what you'll start noticing, I mean, first of all, you might start noticing some gaps where you don't really have a process flow and that's a great opportunity for you to figure that out and get more clear on your process. And you might be able to question like, why are people not booking at this point? Why are people booking at this point? Uh, what things do the clients that book have in common, et cetera. And you might be able to you know, improve this process flow a little bit. But as you start mapping it out, you'll start to see things where Dubsado can come in handy. So this information gathering stage, maybe you need to send them a questionnaire. That's something that Dubsado can help with. Um, how are proposals sent? That's something Dubsado can help with. Contracts, they are actually part of the proposal process in Dubsado. So that's really easy. You can take that off your plate almost entirely as well as payment. So as you map this out, start noticing where you're sending the same emails, where you have resource or pricing guides for your clients, where you're sending out a questionnaire or a contract or something where Dubsado can help and start starring those steps. Then I say just kind of choose one to get started. The easiest way that you could probably get started is with an email template. So 
you run into template and canned emails. And this is any email that you're going to send more than once to your clients. So for instance, something like, hey, thank you for signing your contract. You're now officially part of the Design by Lanny family. Welcome, we're so excited to have you. Here's what you can expect next. And here's some resources. And in that case, I'm gonna send them like my address template or a wedding invitation wording guide so that I can preempt some of their questions that they're gonna have for me and make my whole process a little bit easier, as well as just showing value and keeping in contact with them even if it's you know a month before we're starting your design or something. So any emails that you're sending over and over and over again, this could be like, here's our pricing and services guide that you can send right after they fill out the lead capture, for instance. You're gonna create a canned email in here. And one thing I definitely want to show you is something like this. These little bracket systems, sometimes they show up green or red, are considered smart fields. I have a whole other video on this, but in Devsado, you're able to fill in information that will make your emails look personalized without actually personalizing them. So you can say, hey, client first name, and this is going to fill in automatically whatever the client has put in as their first name over here on your lead capture. And you can even customize some of these, which I have another video on. So when you're typing out your emails, you can make them feel really personal even without fully personalizing them. So you can make it a template that's going to fill in information that makes the client think that you wrote that email directly for them. That's going to make them feel special. It's going to make you look like a really personalized small business, even when you're just fully automating this. So I'd recommend starting with a couple of canned emails. And then once you feel like you're ready, you might head over into forms and start filling out some of these other options like questionnaires, proposals, and contracts. If you have like a contract questionnaire um, from a different system, then actually Dubsado can upload those for you and convert them into your Dubsado account. Um, I believe they do that one time for new clients. And then if you want them to do more, you can always pay for that. Frankly, all of their form building is really easy to use and there's a lot of good options. So as you get familiar with it, uh, I think you'll find it really easy to do. Once you've created everything, you can dive into workflows, which are actually below here, workflows. Um, those are a little bit more advanced and they're not available on the starter plan, but they are available on the full standard plan. So we have some other videos on that. I think it's more advanced, but I want you to start with Upsado in a way that feels accessible. So even if all you're doing is just getting your leads into one place and being able to communicate with them, great, you've set up your email, you've set up your lead capture, you are good to go. And then as it comes up, you can create more and more of those canned emails, you can create more questionnaires, more proposals, et cetera, um, and really start to dial in on that process and all of the things that Upsado has to offer. So I hope this was helpful in just getting a very preliminary setup for you. There's always more you can do, and I hope you'll check out some of our other videos on Dubsado as you dive into some of those more advanced features. But for now, welcome to the Dubsado family. Um, if you haven't paid yet, then I would love if you would use my code Design by Lainey or the link in the description of this video. Um, and I hope that you see all the potential that Dubsado has to change your business for the better because it is truly, truly amazing and is gonna save you so much time and energy. And I'm so excited for you. So thanks for joining. Let me know what else you wanna see here and if you have any questions about getting started. Thanks everybody.